In question 14, we have to determine which of these shapes here has at least one right angle and angles that are greater than a right angle. Okay, the first thing to do is to remind ourselves what is a right angle. Well, let's bring in a picture. And you might recognize this as a triangle from a math set. And this triangle here has a corner right there. And that corner is a right angle. So generally speaking, if two lines make a corner, and we say in math terms that this corner here is 90 degrees, then it is a right angle. Now let's look at the shapes we're given and see if any of them have corners. And if I go down the list here, I can see that this triangle here has a corner, as we've just seen right there. And this shape at the bottom has a corner. It has two of them, there and there. So the next thing we have to look at is to find angles that are greater than a right angle. Well, if an angle is going to be greater than a right angle, then it has to be greater than 90 degrees. So if we draw a right angle again, and then move the arm here to the left, we're going to increase the angle that's formed by the two lines. So this angle is greater than 90 degrees. So let's look down our list of shapes to see if any angles are greater than 90 degrees. And we can see in the first shape that all of these angles actually will be greater than 90 degrees. In the next shape, the angles at the bottom here are less than 90, but the angles at the top are greater than 90. For our triangle here, these two angles are less than 90. And for the shape at the bottom, it looks like these three angles here are greater than 90. So to answer the question, which of these shapes here has at least one right angle and angles greater than a right angle? Well, we can see that the answer is the last shape here.